So these are our family's chicks. And this one's curious. And thinking of them today reminded me of a passage where Jesus talks about Jerusalem and how he wants to bring Jerusalem under his wing like a hen puts baby chicks under its wing. See, these chicks, when they get scared, they'll trample each other. And they'll go a little crazy. They'll even peck each other and fight over resources, hurting each other. But when a hen's present, they calm down, and they get in line, and they snuggle up, and they relax, because they know their needs are going to be taken care of. So these chicks remind us of this passage in Luke chapter 13, verse 34, where Jesus is lamenting over Jerusalem after he learns that Herod wants to kill him. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to you, how often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her chick under her wings, and you were not willing. Look, the house is forsaken. Too often, religious leaders and people in positions of power and influence misuse their power. Right before that, Jesus shared the parable of the watchful servants in Luke chapter 12, verse 48. He says this, For you who have much has been given, of him much shall be required. And from him to whom much was entrusted, much will be asked. So there's a very high standard when we find ourselves in a position of power and influence in ministry or in our family, in our community. And Jesus really warns us not to misuse that power and how he really desires, just like a hen, to pull us under the wings and say, you know what, it's okay. You don't need to trample each other. You don't need to fight with each other for resources. You just need to come together under my wing, under the church, under the authority of Jesus and the unity of the Holy Spirit and work together and stay close to him and it's going to be all right. So can we remember that today when we're tempted like in James where he says, um, you lust and do not have, so you kill, you desire to have and cannot obtain, you fight and war, yet you do not have because you do not ask. Can we ask instead today, instead of using our position or our power to get what we want, maybe in a worldly way? And so I just want to leave you with that thought as we think about these wonderful chicks that God's given our family, and as God laments, um, like Jesus, over how we sometimes run about literally like a chicken with our head cut off fighting for resources when we could just come under the wing of the Lord and enjoy his provision the safety and snuggle up and see it's going to be all right and now for those of you who love chicks here's a little more footage to enjoy